The Fenaflex spacer coupling is designed primarily for the pump industry and the design allows for the prime mover or driven machine shafts to be moved axially without disturbing either machine. The coupling is designed to accommodate standard distance between shaft end dimensions of 80, 100, 140 and 180 millimetres. Make sure all the correct components are available and the relevant tools required are ready before attempting assembly. Check that the taper lock bush bores or bored and keyed flanges match the diameter of the corresponding prime mover and driven machine shafts. All mating surfaces of the assembly, taper bores in flanges and taper lock bushes should be cleaned to remove any debris that might impede accurate and effective assembly. A lint-free cloth is usually sufficient. Remove the spacer sub-assembly from the rigid taper lock flange and loosely place the bush into the taper bore, taking care to align the half holes correctly. Then insert the grub screws loosely into the threaded hole in the flange. Place the rigid taper lock flange onto the respective machine shaft and use a straight edge to align the flange with the shaft end. Tighten the taper lock fixing screws to the required torque detailed in the separate instructions supplied with each bush and check the flange face runout with a dial test indicator. Before placing the flanges onto the relevant shafts, loosely place the bush into the taper lock ball, taking care to align the half holes correctly. Specific details of the procedure can be viewed on the Fenner taper lock installation video. Remove the clamping rings from the flanges when installing couplings size F70 and above, taking care to ensure the ring screws do not get lost. When installing coupling sizes 40, 50 and 60, unscrew the internal clamping flange screws until there are only two or three pitches of thread engaged. Place the loose clamping ring of one of the coupling flanges onto the spacer shaft before locating the flange. Once in place, tighten the taper lock bush fixing screws to the required torque, detailed in the separate instructions supplied with each bush. Locate the spacer assembly onto the rigid taper lock flange, engage spigot, align holes, then insert and tighten the fixing screws to the required torque, detailed in Table 4 of the coupling installation instructions. Place the loose clamping ring and coupling flange onto the other machine shaft and assemble as previously detailed. Bring the shafts into line until dimension M is obtained and if end float is to occur, locate the shaft at the mid position of the end float when checking dimension M. The shaft ends may project beyond the faces of the installed flanges, but take care to ensure you allow sufficient space between the shaft ends to accommodate end float and misalignment. Lay a straight edge across the flanges at several positions around the circumference to check parallel alignment. Check the angular alignment by measuring the gap between the flanges at different positions around the circumference. Open out the tyre and place over the coupling's flanges, taking great care to ensure the tyre beads seat properly. To ensure the tyres seat properly, it may be necessary to manipulate the tyre manually until the gap between the tyre ends is no larger than shown in Table 2 on the installation instructions leaflet. This may mean using a rubber mallet on larger sizes. Replace the clamping rings onto the flanges and over the tyre beads, then finger tighten the screws to secure the tyre. Using a hexagon key or spanner and torque wrench, tighten the clamping ring screws alternatively and evenly, half a turn at a time, until the correct screw torque detailed in Table 1 of the installation instructions is achieved.
Take care to note that once assembled, there should not be any metal-to-metal -metal contact between the coupling flange and clamping ring. If possible, once installed, it is desirable to run the coupling under load for a short period of time and then recheck the clamping screw torque and restore to the correct value if required. Thank you for taking the time to view this Fenner installation video.